Hey everyone, I'm Ian Norman with LonelySpec.com and today we're going to look at a super effective method of noise reduction in your astrophotographs using image stacking in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and Adobe Lightroom. Image stacking is by far one of the best methods to reduce noise in your astrophotos. First, let's take a look at a before and after comparison just to give you an idea how much a difference this technique can make in your images. On the left, we have an example of a single raw frame with basic contrast and curves adjustments shot at ISO 5000 with a Fujifilm X-E1. You can see a lot of luminosity grain and some really ugly pink and green color noise. On the right is a composite of 16 separate images stacked with a median filter. You can see that grain is greatly reduced and color noise is almost completely eliminated. Let's set some preferences for how Lightroom exports to Photoshop as an external editor in order to maintain as much raw data as possible while editing. We'll go to Lightroom, Preferences, External Editing. Under Edit in Photoshop CS6, select TIFF, Profoto RGB, 16 bits per component, and Zip Compression to keep file sizes small. I used an intervalometer to record these 16 identical exposures one after another. Select all of the images you plan to stack by clicking on the first image, holding shift and clicking on the last image. Right click that selection and select edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Now that we're in Photoshop, we're going to duplicate all the layers. Duplicate all the layers by clicking the first layer, holding shift and clicking the last layer. Then drag that selection to the create new layer button on the bottom of the layer palette. Group our layer copies into a smart object by selecting all of the layers right-clicking and choosing Convert to Smart Object. I'll name the smart object Foreground and hide it for now. We'll come back to the Foreground Smart Object later. Next we'll do a little bit of work to align the stars in our remaining layers. Since the Earth was rotating during each of our exposures, the stars moved between shots. In order to stack the images successfully, we'll need to align them first. Now let's hide all the layers except one by clicking the eye-shaped icon on the left side of each layer in the layer palette. Select the one visible layer and click the Add Layer Mask button on the bottom of the layer palette. Make sure the layer mask is selected and use the paintbrush tool with a large soft brush and black as our color to really roughly mask out the foreground. Don't worry too much about precision, just make sure you do a decent job of hiding the foreground. Copy the mask to all the remaining layers. We will do this by holding Command and clicking on the layer mask we just created in the layers palette to turn the mask into a selection. Then select the next layer and click the Add Layer Mask button on the bottom of the Layers palette to copy the mask to this next layer. And we'll repeat this for all of the remaining layers. Command click the mask, select the next layer, and add the layer mask. So I'll just do this really quickly for the rest of the layers. And now we've hidden the foreground with a rough layer mask on all of our layers. Let's unhide all of our layers with the newly applied mask and use a shift click to select all of those layers. Then we'll align the layers with each other by selecting Edit Auto Align Layers. In this case, just use the default setting of Auto and click OK. OK, now all of our stars are aligned from layer to layer and we can go ahead and delete our rough layer masks by right clicking on the mask and selecting Delete Layer Mask. I'll go ahead and repeat this for all of our remaining layers. Now let's stack them as a smart object. Select all the layers again with a shift click, then right click the selection and choose convert to smart object. I'll just name this to sky real quick. Then set the stack mode of the sky smart object to median by selecting layer, smart object, stack mode, and then median. And now you can see how the image is cleaned up by the median filter stack mode. Let me just undo that to show you the difference that it just made. The median filter does a really great job at reducing noise by replacing each pixel color with the median value between each of the 16 different exposures. This filters out the extreme outliers like color and luminosity noise. Now let's concentrate on the foreground of the image. Let's unhide the foreground smart object and set the stack mode to median by selecting the foreground smart object in the layers palette selecting Layer, Smart Object, Stack Mode, and once again choosing Median. And now you can see how the noise is reduced in our foreground. 
Of course, since the stars are not aligned in the foreground smart object, the sky just looks like a streaky blur. We'll make the final composite of our foreground and background by selecting the foreground layer and clicking the add layer mask button on the bottom of the layer palette. And we'll use a large soft paintbrush and black as the color to paint out the sky. Let's start with a really rough one and then we'll use Alt Option click on the layer mask to view the layer mask itself and we'll clean up the mask a bit. Finally, we can paint a more precise mask with a slightly smaller white brush. Just be as precise as you need for the detail in your foreground. And once again, you can finish up by holding Alt Option and clicking the layer mask to clean up the details of the mask. Okay, just select one of the layers and view the final composited image. We'll go ahead and flatten the image by clicking the Options dropdown in the top right corner of the Layers palette and choosing Flatten Image. And then we'll select the Crop tool and crop out the borders of our image stack. And finally, we'll save the image. I like to use the TIFF format with zip compression in order to preserve as much data as possible but keep the file sizes reasonable. And that's it. Let's take one last look at our before and after comparison again of a single frame and our image stack on the left. This method is definitely a bit of work to execute but there's pretty much no better way to boost signal and reduce noise in your astrophotos. Once again, I'm Ian Norman from LonelySpec.com. Check out the website for more how-to articles and sign up for an upcoming astrophotography workshop where I'll teach you how to take some amazing astrophotographs with your digital camera. See you later.